In an isolated ankle syndesmotic injury, the fibula is unstable in the incisura fibularis of the tibia. In what direction is the fibula most unstable? 1. Anterior posterior 2. Medial lateral 3. Proximal distal 4. Rotational 5. Equivalent instability of all axis And the answer is 1. Anterior posterior. Okay? In an ankle syndesmotic injury, the fibula is most unstable in an anterior and posterior direction. This is whether or not there is an accompanying ankle fracture. Most commonly, the fibula will subluxate anterior in an ankle fracture model. What is syndesmotic injury? This term is used to describe a lesion of the ligaments that connect the distal fibula and the tibial notch surrounded on both sides by the anterior and posterior tibial tubercles with or without an associated injury of the deltoid ligaments. It includes four major ligaments, AITFL, anterior inferior tibial fibular ligament, IOL or IOM introsius, Ligament or intercept membrane, PITFL, posterior inferior tibial fibular ligament, and inferior transverse ligament or TTFL. This illustration depicts the anatomy of the syndesmotic ankle joint. The four major ligaments: one, AITFL, anterior inferior tibial fibular ligament. The function is to limit the fibula external rotation. Number two, IOL, intrusious ligament or intrusious membrane. The function is to limit the lateral translation of the fibula. Number three, PITFL, posterior inferior tibial fibular ligament. The function is to prevent the posterior fibula translation. Number four, inferior transverse ligament. The function is to limit the posterior tala displacement. This picture illustrates the lateral ankle joint ligaments. The deltoid ligament has the function of preventing tala abduction, pronation, and external rotation. Syndesmotic lesion is with associated damage to the deltoid ligament produce a greater instability of the talus. This instability, if uncorrected, can lead to chronic instability that can finally develop into degenerative arthritis. Okay, thank you.